so hello guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we are reviewing a brand new custom rom now this rom is project matrix and in this video we will be reviewing everything including performance camera battery backup even the customizations this rom has one of the most beautiful customizations in my opinion so if you are planning to install this rom then stick around till the end of the video because this is gonna get juicy now talking about the battery backup on this rom again uh, like the previous video i can't show you this screen on screen of time because for some reason this is not showing in android 14 roms and now i don't know why this is happening but you can see here that average screen on battery drain is 13.2 percent per hour and then average screen of battery drain is 0.4 percent per hour then idle drain let me show you yeah you can see here the idle drain is 3 milliamps per hour so yeah there's that the idle train is really great in my opinion like this is a stable experience you don't lose like 40 50 percent of the battery overnight so it is a really uh, pleasant experience positive experience in my opinion now talking about the customization in this rom okay let me show you so yeah this is how the setting panel looks like so as you can see this is the breath of fresh air from the boring stock android uh, setting menu as you can see here and there is this uh, profile icon where i can switch profile then there are these battery options and as you can see there are these beautiful animations all across the os you will probably see them everywhere in the settings panel like if you switch to something else like if you switch to storage then you can see that uh, there is this folder icon where files are getting sorted and all that and you get customizations in this matrix settings and uh, as you can see again there are some beautiful animations even in the customizations uh, tab and uh, there are these button customizations like you can see here then there are these power menu customizations where you can toggle so much stuff like airplane mode then on the go mode uh, if you want it for some reason you can also toggle screenshot then lockdown emergency you can also toggle advanced restart and secure lock screen where uh, you can't really reboot your device until and unless you have unlocked your device so it is pretty great in my opinion especially for the security purposes then there is this end call option where you press power button to end call then long press for torch then if your screen is off and you long press this then the torch will activate like you can see here then there are these answer call options where you can use these volume buttons to answer a call if you want for some reason and then you can also reorient like swap volume buttons when you are in landscape mode then talking about the lock screen there are so much customization in this lock screen like you can see here media cover art it is probably for when you play music and you want that visualizer effect in your lock screen and then there are these weather conditions uh, if you want some weather information on your lock screen then there are these bunch of options like battery info tap to sleep fingerprint authentication vibration error vibration ripple effect and all that so it is pretty basic stuff in my opinion and talking about the miscellaneous option and as you see there are beautiful animations even in the sub tabs and uh, this shows that developer has really put his or her love and effort into building this rom and uh, we should appreciate that effort and if you really want to appreciate then you can really uh, like donate the developer if you want talking about the miscellaneous section of this rom there is this game space where you get a bunch of customization like block full screen event uh, stay awake log gesture auto brightness and all that stuff then you can also uh, enable this dan markuk notification mode so i don't know how this works because i haven't tried gaming uh, on this phone as of now so yeah there is that then there are these other options like unlock higher fps in games then unlimited photo storage netflix spoof and swipe to screenshot which works like that and uh, 
there are these ignore secure window flags which allow you to take screenshot in apps which don't really allow you to take screenshots so yeah there's that then there are these sensor block per package where you can block particular sensors for particular apps to save battery then there are these weather settings where you can set up weather on your lock screen then there are these navigation options as you can see there is this option for navigation bar then pixel animation then you can also enable arrows while typing and you can also choose the layout compact extended and all that stuff i don't really use like navigation bar so i don't know how this works but if you do there are no options for you you don't have to worry about it then talking about notification you can disable noisy notification so what this does is it enables sound and vibration for only important notifications like calls and sms's and it totally disables sounds and vibration for all other notifications so yeah there's that and then you can also disable heads up uh, then talking about other options like quick settings where you can this is and this is actually pretty common stuff like you can do this in many other roms now there are these sound customizations and all that stuff it is pretty common and i won't dive deep into these kind of customizations and there are these user interface customization where you can enable disable charging animation you can choose your full screen apps you can also change your uh, screen of animation if you want to do that for some reason then you can also mess with these monad settings if you want like if you want a particular background color or accent color or if you want a tinted background then you can definitely choose this and mess with this uh, monad settings then there are these various font styles which, which you can choose like let's say i want to choose this nokia pure so you just tap it and it applies to whole system there are no issues with that then you can choose these uh, icon packs now talking about the camera application in this rom you get this lmc 8.4 which is a decent camera application in my opinion like it is much better than those uh, aperture cameras and thanks to the developer for not putting this uh, aperture camera in this rom and ruining the rom experience now obviously this is not a mui camera but it's not bad either like if you know what you are doing then you can click iphone like pictures from this uh, camera application and i am not kidding uh, but i'm not really an advanced guy and uh, i don't really like tweaking with anything but because i tend to break something uh, when i mess with the stuff so yeah i usually keep it uh, as it is all i did was i went to this additional cameras to enable other cameras like uh, ultra wide and macro and that's pretty much it i didn't load any config or anything like that and i think all the lenses work pretty fine like this is uh, the macro camera i think and uh, this is the ultra wide camera and all the lenses are working pretty fine there are no issues with anything then the night sight and all other modes are working pretty fine as well and you can mess with these if you really want to and in the audio aspect you get this viper for android now i've seen this in couple of roms now and i'm happy that developers are stepping up and giving it to the users even if they don't have root so yeah there's that the sound quality is exceptional like i really love the sound quality especially with the v4a so yeah it's super loud it's super crisp and the bass is enough and if you really want the sound testing okay let me do it so relax finding my purpose i don't know what makes me happy don't know what makes me sad i see it all. Now, as you can see the sound quality is really good and the viper for android uh, is processing as you can see the speaker connected so yeah it's pretty good in my opinion like i really enjoy uh, using youtube and listening to music using this rom now talking about one additional thing that this rom ships with 
you get the YouTube premium experience like you won't see ads anywhere in this ROM uh, especially in the YouTube because this is the modded YouTube version this is not the basic YouTube that you install from Play Store and you won't see ad anywhere in this ROM so yeah especially in this YouTube application so yeah and you can mess with these settings like this is basically just YouTube rewatched so yeah there's that there are a bunch of customizations related to ads then there are these in uh, interaction setting layout settings now this rom comes with the MIUI gallery by default so you don't miss on anything including the features that uh, MIUI gallery comes with this is the default gallery like there is no uh, google gallery or anything like that the MIUI gallery is the default gallery Ironically, the MIUI camera is not there, but MIUI gallery application is there. So yeah, it is there if you want it for some specific reason, or you can definitely install some other gallery application like Google uh, gallery application. As you can see, I ran N22 benchmark and it scored pretty decent, like 387,000. And in my opinion, it is a decent score, not the highest by any means, but it's pretty decent in my opinion. Then talking about the CPU stress test, uh, the graph was greener than green everywhere. So yeah, there are no red lines, there are no yellow lines. So yeah, there is no throttle at all. As you can see, CPU throttle to 89% of its maximum performance. So it is pretty decent in my opinion and the test was 15 minutes and uh, it's not less 15 minutes it's actually a really good uh, time for stress test and this is the default time which app ships with so yeah i ran on the default time and there are these results the average gips is 155000 and the maximum are 163000 then the minimum is 140000 now other than that this device is certified by google play so the banking apps work just fine there are no issues with any of that talking about the google photo certification this device can back up unlimited photos and videos at no charge so yeah the unlimited pixel storage is there and you don't have to worry about anything regarding storage for at least photos and videos so yeah that's pretty much it from my side uh, on the ROM and I'll say this is one of the best Android 14 ROMs in my opinion at least right now. Now this is Android 14 unofficial ROM so yeah you have to keep in mind uh, but I didn't really find any bugs in this ROM and yeah one more thing this ROM ships with this uh, AOSP dialer with which you can call record pretty much anyone without announcement as you can see as you can see this is not the basic uh, Google dialer which uh, announces the call recording this is the AOSP dialer which you can use to record calls silently so yeah it's a great one and uh, on that note uh, this is a green flag from me by the way you can definitely try this ROM I think you will definitely love this one and uh, on that note uh, like this video subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one bye bye now